Now, that was a very telling comment by Blake Bortles. He heard Dan Fouts during the game and all the negative talk about him, and Bortles said he blocked it out. There's no way. He's human. It did block him out. But what did you think in the pregame, Phil, when you switched <laughs> well, from Pittsburgh to Jacksonville? What I usually do is put myself in the player's shoes, and I felt like out of the teams that I'm looking at in this matchup, the Steelers and the Jags, that the Jaguars – would come out, swing first, and hit the hardest. And with that running game, Blake Bortles taking care of the ball. As we know, they're 9-0, and now 10-0 and without him turning over the ball. And I felt like this defense was going to show up big. We all have recency bias, but we wanted to quickly forget what happened in the regular season. So I kept thinking about that game. Even though I have a high level of respect for the Steelers, I felt like the Jaguars were a better team, Coach. and they went out there and proved that. Well, you know, I mean, I think we looked at this game. You talked about the Jacksonville defense going against the Pittsburgh offense. But I really think the difference in this game was this Jacksonville offense. Okay. This is what I didn't think that they would be able to show up. You talk about what they were able to do. Five for five in the red zone. Blake Bortles making the plays he needed to make when he needed to make them. You talk about, again, converting third downs. And, again, they got into the end zone. Go back to last week, the fourth down pass play that the conference they had to go against Buffalo. But you see right here, he made the throws he needed to make. And, you know, and then, again, with his feet a couple of times, he kept the drives going, extending the drives with his feet. And, again, you're talking about a team that they were 8 of 14 on third down. Situational football. Third down here, 8 of 14. In the red zone, 5 for 5. A big play right here on play action. They weren't afraid. I give a lot of credit to Nathaniel Hackett for calling a game where they came out in the first half throwing the ball on first down. Yeah, I don't even know where to get, begin talking about this game. First off, I, Blake Bortles, as you look at these all these numbers they had on offense, but Blake Bortles, I think he just told all the critics today what they can do with their opinion about him. Mm. I mean, that performance, it was clutch. He made yep. some big plays. He no moved question. around. You talked about the throws. But Mike Tomlin has got a lot to answer for how he managed the game and decisions he made during this game today. I'll tell you when this goes back to 11:26 Sunday night on NBC when Mike Tomlin gave an interview to Tony Dungeon. He talked openly about how he expected to play the New England Patriots twice. And even last night, Le'Veon Bell goes out there and makes this crazy tweet. And don't think for a moment that the Jaguars don't use that for fuel for fire. And, Coach, you know, you're a coach. Know, you've I been know, using I that, know, state, yep, that I stuff. And that's – I, 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 I go back to last year when Ben Roethlisberger said they got to tighten things up. They didn't tighten things up because when you get to this level, mm. other guys are coming after you. And yep. the Jacksonville Jaguars Jaguar showed some real heart today. Yep. On any given Sunday, the State Farm Post Game Show continues after this.